What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 142 of the Cheesy Controller Podcast. I'm your host, Anton LaPlatt. Joining me, as always, we have the D&D Dice Shirt, Chris Montalbano. You're all going off shirts today, just as a heads up. Fair enough. I'm so proud of you for hitting credits. I'm proud of me, too. <laughs> we have... Is it symbiote, venom, carnage? Like, are all those things one thing? No, no, no. Carnage is Venom's first child. Okay. Is that a symbiote shirt? Is that a this Venom, is Venom shirt? This is an OG black suit. Okay. Shirt, Jalen Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> by the, by, through all knowledge, can be forged with the power of the hammer knife. And we got the potent ATL. Uh, do you still have your offer code on potentatl.com? I Devon? do not remember <laughs> at all. It's on my because we <laughs> <laughs> This is a day off from Twitch. We got a jam back episode for you guys this week. We're going to be talking about this a day off Twitch boycott that we're participating in actively as we speak. We're going to talk about Final Fantasy <laughs> 14. We're going to talk about Activision. We're going to talk about MLK and the metaverse we're going to talk about the milk crate challenge and edgy comic we're obviously not on twitch right now yeah <laughs> nope. yeah we it's on. hashtag a day off twitch yeah hashtag twitch do better As, yeah. yeah hashtag amazon stop feeding the suck hashtag stop taking all our fucking money For real. hashtag are we how long last are we time we got paid with Oh yeah, no. Twitch is is complete cash app us. Yeah, <laughs> like really, that that's the long yeah. short and the hit, hit us up on cash app because you're wasting your money supporting on Twitch because of Amazon's pricing like structure mm-hmm. plan right. for them to take all the money that pyramid they do scheme and them to not be able to protect their investments, right. i.e., you the streamers, especially like the marginalized ones. So black people, queer people, black black queer people, women, disabled people, <laughs> disabled that's another people. group that's been really being targeted by this is disabled people, and that's like that's extra just fucked like, up. Just like yeah, like I mean it's all fucked up, but yeah, it's like I mean, it's all, but for me, I know like, like there's a special place in hell if whatever fucking cesspool that you believe in, <laughs> there is a special place. For people like like that, like what the mm-hmm. fuck, and then Twitch is just sitting back, sitting on their hands, or they're not sitting on their hands because they're too busy counting our fucking money, mm-hmm. like to right. do anything. Right, we haven't been streaming like that's one of the things we stream a lot less than a lot of other content creators. But I know, mm-hmm. like especially listening to podcasts, like Blessing from Kind of Funny has been hit with some of these hate raids that we're protesting, and it's like he doesn't deserve that. Yeah. They're targeting like specifically like LGBT tags, African American tags, disabled tags, like these tags that you're trying to like use to like get your stream to people who could potentially be interested in it are being like now targeted by people who are just like out here like being a piece of shit actively. Get a life. Please. For real? Like, how I, bored like, do you have to be? And how many people are doing this? Like to just sit back and orchestrate all this? Is this like from some fucking HN fucking or is it channel? like a couple is this of just... Discord servers and a right. bunch of million bots? Yeah. Right. And it's just thing, one lot just like, piece of shit. Is it a lot of bots? I mean I thought it was just like a group a of shitty fucking bot. people. No, it's shitty people being shitty, but it's also bots that are just they have ways to get around Twitch's content moderation, like in chat, Mm -hmm. because like sometimes chat, like someone will say something in Mm -hmm. our chat and we have to approve it before it goes through. But the bots like know how to get around the content moderation that Twitch has built in. And while at the end of the day, it doesn't, Their content moderation obviously doesn't work. The fact that there is right a, people right. people have proposed ideas. Streamlabs came out today and was like, "Yeah, so here's a feature to block to help block hate raids." <laughs> yeah, like you can use it. Like, hey, at least address it. 
At least act right. like you see it happening. The most they've done is say, yeah, we see you, we hear you. They pulled a Biden. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? What? <laughs> and then they sit back and let everybody else do the work. Like, Streamlabs do the work. And then... Hello, white America. So, <laughs> hope two weeks later, everybody would just be back on Twitch. I mean, I've been busy today, but I feel like today, every time I got online, I saw another content creator like actively supporting this. So, I mean, this is like the same thing what we were saying with Activision Blizzard a few weeks ago, where we don't support what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Like, you're actively being pieces of shit. Like, you are not caring about your community. You are doing all these things like the one thing they're renaming McCree because McCree's named after one of the guys in the Cosby suite photo mm-hmm. who was doing a bunch of the fuck shit so but with that though they announced that the day that the uh charges against them were expanded for destroying evidence well first they were expanded because they wanted to expand it to include it the verbiage or the terminology before t- said employees, but that didn't cover temp workers. That didn't cover like contract employees. Now it's it says workers, nice. so it's just kind of a. That's the first time it was expanded, and then the second time it was expanded is because their HR department was destroying evidence. So that's. I feel like we talked about that last week. No, it, no. we talked about it the day it happened. Oh, yeah. 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 It's so much bullshit <clears throat> that's coming from there. It's yeah, just it, like, it just I forget what we worse. hear. Don't buy Diablo 2. Look, like, look, I look. wanted to play that game. If it has game, Activision Blizzard on it, leave it alone. Yeah. It. yeah. If you haven't bought Sekiro yet, don't buy it. If you, ha- like, I wanted to get Crash 4 and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 Plus 2 that thing but both of those i was like they were on my wish list i was waiting I mean, on the I, sale and i was like what if nah. you find it at like a nope. like a game store nope. i'd buy i have an all digital ps5 yeah <laughs> so that's fair i don't have you're good <laughs> yeah i just took it off my wish list on playstation both of them and i want to say i had something else from them on my wish list and it's just completely off but I mean, I can't feel bad for Toys for Bob because they're completely destroyed and not even the same right. team anymore. They're working on Warzone now. They're, yeah. They're doing they tech. Just like, the, and half another the people, great developer sent to the fucking Call of yeah. Duty gulag. I think half of them left because they were like, this is not what we want to do. Activision's not, a Call of Duty company now. I don't blame them. Straight they're up, probably going to no, break off and like, do something They've officially nice. said oh. every studio under the Activision umbrella which is like Blizzard and Activision under Activision Blizzard are two separate umbrellas. Every single studio, Beanox, Raven, all these, Neversoft. I don't even know if Neversoft still. <laughs> Always hard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, but straight up. um, Yeah, because at this point, the only thing that Blizzard that Activision Blizzard could really push is Call of Duty. You know, like, the, everything from the Blizzard side is pretty much soured right now. <laughs> and then Call yeah. of Duty fans oh, are... Neversoft they're not going to care anymore. enough. Okay. Yeah. They, they got absorbed into Infinity Ward. You know, the Gulag. Right, yeah. Yeah. Well, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, all of these... Activ- Free Raven. <laughs> oh, Vicarious man. Visions... All of them are working on Call of Duty. Every single one of them. Even though Vicarious Visions might be doing Blizzard stuff as well, too. But we don't support any of it. We'll see how long that lasts. That'd be interesting if Blizzard just stopped being Blizzard and became Call of Duty. Uh, That'd be... I mean, just like an Overwatch version of Call of Duty. No, just Call of Duty. Just no, Call, just of, Call it, of Duty. Just Call straight of Duty. up a Call of Duty. Not. Mm-mm. I mean, I don't care about Blizzard anymore, but I couldn't see that. The thing is, you're you're seeing it, and you're not even realizing you're seeing it. <laughs> it no, it's I mean, WoW is happened. dead. It happened. Yeah, no, it literally happened. Like, remember, <laughs> Activision there, only published that's how they do it they they publish a game and then they send you to the gulag 
That's just how it is. Pretty much. We're going Raven, to make some Raven's money off of you <laughs> and eat you. Right. Mm-hmm. Make even more. Raven's been working on Call of Duty the entire PS4 gen, like PS4, Xbox One generation. I know Raven. <laughs> we just stopped. want to make a quirky 3D platformer. <laughs> Maybe nope. with collect the thon elements. <laughs> nope. Raven's you like, better we've make... revolutionized Star Wars combat. And? You better <laughs> make that unicorn <laughs> gun skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other thing about Call of Duty is just, like, the stuff they throw into it. I feel like Apex avoids a lot of the trappings that Call of Duty just embraces. What do you mean by that? The quality... So, Call of Duty has just so many packs and packs and packs and packs of skins, operators, gun skins, gun charms, emblems, calling cards... A lot of these things you can't necessarily buy in Apex, and across the board in Apex, there are nowhere near as many. So there's but also one thing with Apex, though, it's like with the operators, like the characters matter in Apex. They like do. what character you are matters in Apex, so you can't really just go try and sell a million different skins and stuff. Because That's it's true. Like, you gotta. You can't just slap anything on a rig, you know. Like every Bangalore skin still has to look like Bangalore. Well, yeah, that's kind of like a, and I mean that was kind of a thing. That's been a thing in a lot of these games is you can't break up the silhouettes once you've established it because you're supposed to be able to see based off the silhouette of a character who they are from a distance. And if at any point you were to, like, drastically alter... Like, if you were to just give Gibraltar a skin with wings, like, that doesn't look like Gibraltar anymore. Yeah. I mean, shit, it, sometimes you run into that problem anyway with, like, some of those skins and some of the other skins kind of look like, you know, somebody else. <laughs> you get confused. Like, oh, yeah, that fucking Bangalore. Or like, no, wait, wait, that's not a... That was a Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> It was two shoulder thingies and not just one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Is the statement that Xbox or not Apex needs to like have more skins? Is that what you're trying to? No, I'm just or saying. Or you like? Apex has a good cadence of skins and stuff, but you're saying they Call have of Duty's a just like a fucking a mall, a shopping mall. Yeah, shit like well, yeah, Apex, I mean, kind Apex of mostly like a wants to sell you the battle pass every season. That's the thing Apex want to say sell you. Well, mm-hmm. Call of Duty wants to sell you everything. I mean, to get back to what you but were saying earlier, Jalen, a hundred times like, more stuff. No, that's in what I mean. Call well, of Duty. to get back to what Jalen was saying, every like Apex characters have personality in Call of Duty. You are you are the personality. Technically, you you're sure. a three you Straight person. up, you can buy uh, Bruce Willis from Die Hard. Oh, I haven't played Call of Duty this fucking... (laughs) Like, you can be Bruce Willis from Die Hard, specifically, in Call of Duty for, like, 30 bucks. You know, there are no Apex Legends commercials. It doesn't need it. Yeah, they just post their trailers and (laughs) and leave. Actually, I think that was something that they, like... I feel like Call of Duty, like, they'll crank out a trailer and then drop a fucking... But then also the thing with On every platform, you see the trailer. They were mostly doing that at the height of them trying to sell you a $60 game every single year. Mm-hmm. I mean, Call of Duty is still trying to sell you a $60 game every year. Vanguard is going to be, I think, Vanguard's 70 Oh, I forgot Vanguard's a thing. Yeah, they announced Vanguard through Warzone, and then we're like, apparently it has some really good ideas, and apparently the story mode's really good because it has a lot of people from, like, games press writing on it. And it's, so it's for a lot of people who are a lot more invested, like, right now my stance is straight up, fuck Activision Blizzard, I'm not buying any of your shit, I'm not giving you a penny of my money. Like, I deleted the, I was like, on my phone last night, and I realized I still had, like, the Battle.net app, and I was like, delete, fuck that, I don't, Mm -hmm. so, that's like my current stance on that, but for people who are more invested and have, like, know these people personally who have been in the games press industry and have been on podcasts like i've heard these people alexa ray career wrote on the game and she hosted the resident evil 
mm-hmm. showcase. Yeah, so she wrote on the story mode for the right. So I see it be, but and I mean, at the end of the day, Call of Duty has been a quality product for a long time, and it's because they keep dumping talented developers on like minutia of the game. So. I mean, the overarching, like, it's a first-person shooter, team deathmatch. You have your game modes that have been established. Whether you're doing domination, you're doing capture the flag, you're doing whatever. And they just put teams on making skins, making... Make the texture on that rock in this map that we're bringing back from a bunch of old games look insane at 8K, 120 frames per second. Even though nobody's running the game like mm-hmm. that, <laughs> make it look good. That's so such soul sucking. Well, That's like how we got soul from Twitch because it's a game. It's soul sucking. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, you're. All for me. I don't mean. I don't know much about other Activision games or game companies. In recent years, I know of Toys for Bob because I played the last few remakes of the Crash, remakes of Crash Bandicoot, and then Crash Four, and they loved making that, and they were like a, such a good solid team. And then once it happened, all of them like they all quit, or well, really got well, fired because they were like, I don't want to do that. And then the head of it was like, You're fired because I want to make money. And it was just like. Well, I mean, you they just, were owned by Activision. That's I know. the thing. Activision held the rights to Crash and but it's Spyro. So, it's so soul-sucking because you have a, hun- a bunch of like game companies who want to do cool things. They brought Crash Bandicoot back. They made a Crash Bandicoot game when everybody else after Naughty Dog couldn't. They did it. And then it was right. like, now you make Call of Duty. And it was like, Cra- Crash ah. 4 seemed insane. Like, it was on my wish list. It and I is was waiting. insane. I'm, I wanted it, but I mean, I, I got they, it day one, so... I guess I already yeah, paid I mean, the money. I, I have Insane Trilogy. I have CTR, but I only have that physically. So that might, that might pose a problem. I might I might just have Insane Trilogy. If, if you have it physically, are you like, man, I should like burn this in the fire pits? No, but I'm like, just I not going to put it in your system. Yeah, I'm not going forward. I'm not buying a Hearthstone card pack. I'm not buying Overwatch loot boxes. I'm not. Why would you ever? What? Are they still making skins for Overwatch? Yeah. There's like a new map <laughs> dropping. Don't nobody give a fuck. I'm I mean, sorry, I just what? see the what games. <laughs> Don't nobody give. There's more shit with, with more interesting news. <laughs> How about uh, Final Fantasy 14? I did it. Roll Inject games, it. post. We finally. Let's fucking Chris, go, Chris. I feel like I've put Jeez. you new beer for this. I've put you to task a few times about this. All of us have been playing Final Fantasy fourteen together every single night, and you haven't been there. What time do y'all start playing? Let me ask you that question. Because I go to bed at nine p.m. <sighs> yeah, to wake up at five o'clock. In the Hey man, I the days where I get home at six thirty, <laughs> the days where I get home at six thirty and get on and hit the Discord, hit the Discord, there will be people on before we even get on. That's yes. fair. Guaranteed, if you hit the Discord and say, "Hey," I want to keep making excuses for myself. Exactly. But your boy's tired. Uh, but you, you're running out <laughs> of excuses, I am. Chris. I feel you though. And you run out of time. Everyone's going to be caught up soon enough. I... Yeah, I'm believing that's the a crazy <laughs> part. Everybody's been like, I was able to, I got in before this wave, and so like I'm done, and I see the wave like y'all are so ravenous are you, so out here. You talked about before the podcast, you're gonna do Bojan. If you're doing Bojan, you might as well get your relic weapon. Are yeah, you gonna do that? That's on the list. You might as well like, get your so relic. Weapon. It shines, it glows at a certain point, and that's my just current the flex. weapon glows. <laughs> On it glows lines. in a better way. Yeah. I, 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 have guess. A, I have a glowing book right now. Yeah, but you're a magic user. Okay. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of doing a level skip sometime in the near future on, like, on a class. So Just so I have a 70 class to like do stuff with. I just don't know what class I'm trying to get to 70 on. I'm thinking like Dark Knight. Yeah, snatch up another tank. 
that's the thing. I would really if it, I, if I were I'm you, I would say healer. dancer. No, no, not dancer. I mean, dancer. Um, you can't skip dancer or gunbreaker. That's why I've been grinding those. Those are both. I think my dancer sixty four. My gunbreaker. No, I, I actually I oh. meant I meant ninja. Ninja. I straight up meant ninja. I say give that a try. Get a physical DPS in your life. That is. I'm samurai. thinking of doing dragoon. I That's another would, solid option. I think you would I, like Dragoon. Yeah, I liked when we played as if a If you start skinny. taking and Dragooning, you're just going to... You just die. You I'm gonna tank leave, I'm going to leave you down there at this point. That's the problem. I need to play a DPS that I can kind of like, you know, like <laughs> tank a little bit. <laughs> Look, all you have to do is not get don't in, play I, 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 in an AoE. I, I, yeah. yeah, don't play Dragoon. Don't play Dragoon. <laughs> Because I can kind of do it as dancer. Because, you know, I'll, I'll buff you like it. Here goes a buff that's not even going to do anything Anton, in this fight. Anton. 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 <laughs> Draw back. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> but Samurai. you I haven't played Samurai on any of this stuff. That You've only True. seen me as Gunbreaker and Dancer. Because that level 50 stuff is good XP. Even in my mid-60s. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I tried doing some dailies as my red knight, as my red mage, and I was like, "Holy fuck!" Red oh mage my. might be fun. They forced me to red play as Alice, and I was like, fun. "Am I gonna pick up?" A- it's intuitive. Like what you're doing is intuitive. It's like, all right, cool. I I fucking dash in. What class am I skipping? What class am I going to have level seventy to like pick up a healer? I honestly, I would say I would pick any of the non. The classes that don't start off with their jobs for a level skip. I would pick any of those jobs. Because that's a the, whole lot less work than leveling any of the other classes. Oh, so like like white mage? So like dragoon, uh, mm-hmm. monk. Red mage, you start off at level 50. Ooh, archer, because you can just... I really need to go so pick everything archer. up and see where my like level spread is after I pick everything up. And then make my decision from there. You know you're gonna mount for getting everything to level eighty. Do that's I, a shit ton of grind. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> I mean, with gonna, the earring. Well, not it, with, with the, the earring that you're gonna get for Endwalker, the more, and the more uh, max level classes you have, you get an EXP bonus yep. the difference between you and your highest classes. You know. Yeah. So just do dailies on one class. Or job I do every dailies day. on. I've been alternating gunbreaker dancer. It depends yeah. on who's on, really. Because if it's me and a DPS, I'm going to go gunbreaker. Mm-hmm. If it's me and anything else, if there's a tank, if there's a healer, I'm going DPS. Yeah. When I get to Heaven's Word, I'm picking up Astro. So wait, you said you picked up Red Mage? Yeah, a little bit. Like, the last time I played it, I was like, oh, everything clicked. Like, actually, I think it was better that, like, we went to, like, a low-level dungeon. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I was using just the basic aspects of my um, rotation. What was it? It's uh, Jolt, and then you go to Ver Earth and Ver Air to get Ver Fire and Ver Thunder. Ver Fire and Ver Rock. As soon as he picked it Yeah, so Ver Air... It goes into Ver Rock. Ver Rock. And then Ver Thunder would give you fire. Yeah. If if I'm it like, hits right. Dude. Yeah. But you yeah. get to do dual cast like after you jolt. Yeah. So You're yeah. pretty much doing that. And then once you you'll will get an ability that for like I think fifteen seconds you hit that and then you hit your like you'll hit jolt and then dual cast into like Ver air or ver fire, and you automatically proc one of those and you just go back and forth for like fifteen seconds. Yeah. So I think I have that like, cause I'm like level fifty one. Yeah. They give you like they give you a they great, give you a lot of tools. They give you a great fucking spread to mm-hmm. start off with, and then like mixing in that physical, so you you slide in with that dash, mm-hmm. do your combo, throw out jolt, get some magic going. Once you hit like seventy eight, you'll do your like you'll do your combo, and then when you jump out as you land, you'll be able to like do verholy, which does a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, so you're just like Red jumping is out. Fucking nasty. It's cool. And then you also <laughs> got uh, the other one that's like sends sword. I forgot what the move is called. Sends swords and like hits them in an easy, either like a so one hit or stylish. AOA. Yeah, it's it's pure style. I just thought the rotation was like. Uh, here's my additional concern about 
picking up a new class. Hmm. If Endwalker is so close. I know. <laughs> And Walker is so close, and I'm picking up Sage and Reaper day one, and they're going to come. You saw homie with the like with the scythe. I was like, man, I want Reaper so bad, dude. Like Madrid heard me getting emotional. I was like, (laughs) (laughs) Final Fantasy XIV, man. Like, oh my god. (laughs) Yeah. When you can hear the (laughs) in in somebody's voice, it's like, yeah, that emotion got your throat and device locked. (laughs) It feels good, don't it? Yeah, I Final Fantasy fourteen might be my favorite Final Fantasy game. <laughs> I just want to say scholars are dope. Scholars are dope. Scholars are you, yeah. That's bell shit. Yeah. That's why I want to be on my Yu Gi Oh shit next. So wait, would scholar be Zatch Bell or would Summoner be Zatch Bell? Yes. No, Summoner is Zatch Bell. <laughs> he said yes. yes. <laughs> no, I mean, so, no, literally, Summoner's Zatch Bell because your entire rotation is pretty much getting Zatch, your Zatch, which in this case is Bahamut, to use Gash its Bell. fifth level spell. In this case, Are you Ockmorn. Fan <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Actually, Summoner is getting a better rework in, in Walker and has me wanting to I don't, start I kinda wanna do I don't know how I feel about that. Not, that, not, like, not, like, a, not like an easier... It's like... it's Welcome to the Final Fantasy making, podcast. <laughs> it's making summoner... Uh, like the summoner pets or monsters, whatever you want to call okay. it, not get animation locked so you can keep on doing DPS. It, like, it's just... They're reworking it to where they, your pet actually does damage consistently and doesn't run off or just get stuck okay, in cool. something. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's not because like pretty a, much your pet's just there until you're able to hit the sum of Bahamut part of your timer. Yep. Then yeah. charge up your Ockmorn I mean, and then go into Firebird. That's that's what makes me want to get. I'm just like, sitting there like causing explosions, and I see one dude just like see, I summon Bahamut. I'm like, that's really. I'm just cool. playing the shit out of Scholar, and then Summoner's just going to level, and then one it, day so I'm going to go. I'm going to go run through the job quest for that, and boom, I got my I got my moves. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> right, and, and also it's getting to the point where like, my scholar, I'm like, Dude, they, right, I'm they don't level up at the same time. They right? level up they at the do. same time. You you, like, get, you get two. Cl- that's the thing about it. It's, I know the wait, like, wait, wait, but you wait, hit wait, level yeah, fifty. You level, up you level up Arcanist. You get two jobs leveled at the same time. Two for the price of one, baby. Yeah, yeah but it stops at fifty, right? No, it does no, not. Mean, really? No, it does not. <laughs> that's ridiculous. It does wait not at all. Hold on. You level two jobs for the yeah. Like so, if you do buy the level skip, you would get both. You would just get both. Because uh, they're two halves of the, the same, same fucking book. Like, they're two jobs. They're, the jobs are split off from it's, the same class. What, New Testament and Old Testament? Is there any other yes. classes no. that do that? No. no. <laughs> not? No. Absolutely not. I'm super... Lo- okay, that might be a move. I mean, That's two for the price lot, of one, if, like... <laughs> like, a lot of people will go play, like... They'll do, like, the main story quest as the summoner and then just do, like... The dungeons on Scholar because you get them instant cues. Yeah. But then you just learn to just stick with Scholar because you don't have your full rotation and it feels like shit. It feels like shit. Low-level summoner kind of feels like shit. My mind is being blown right now. I'm really sitting here, like... I might do that. Y'all just never see me play summoner because... I might do that just because I never really had the urge to play healer. But if I had a level, like if I was leveling one up if you, as if I'm leveling up as a DPS, Arcanist, you're you're a DPS. Like Chris, I started off as a Sage is right there. DPS. I know. <laughs> I, Sage We're is caught mine. up. I am main healer. I really want to just be. Reaper, you won't though. be able to get Sage. <laughs> yeah, you say that like like you make no. I will no. I will be Sage. day one in Walker. I will be leveled. I will be walking into that bitch. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get around later. Like, I'm saying the <laughs> moment it's up, like, All I right. will have the first max level sage in this group. I'm saying it right now. All right. I am the fine. person who most recently have been exactly where you are in the game, and good luck. It took he's me almost to, into... He's in 4.1. I'll be in post Shadowbringers post. next week. Yeah, but I feel like uh, Stormblood's next post week. isn't that bad, right? It's only 40 quest. Yeah. Stormblood's post is only 40? Yeah. Yeah, Stormblood's post is not that bad. It's only 40 quests. Meanwhile, I'm over here doing 80. And I've already done like the yeah, first Yeah, you're in the fucking <laughs> thick of it. <laughs> Into the thick I don't remember of it. how bad that Speaking was. Speaking of the thick of it, I beat Shiva. When that when when, when that Shiva when that hard. music drops though when that I was like hit, I was like I was like wait hold on <laughs> wait I'm like this is that's a been great I like, Jawan has sat awesome. there and enjoyed me losing my shit to like trial like transitions. 
for the longest. And now that I'm seeing you guys deal with, <laughs> go through that, it's just great. Yeah. Yeah. That's such nice. a fun fight. It's nice. And then Reddick, he's up. He's up there too. He's in Heaven's Word. Oh shit! Yeah. So, I he's think on Mechanist. I didn't know Mech. I have never. I don't think out, I've seen a lot of Mechanist. Just we've, in general. He he might be the new grind god. I've seen him out grind Jawan. Oh yeah, no. In even multiple Juwan games, just, was yeah. like, how the fuck did you get Mechanist <laughs> and he got the fifty in less than two days? Here's the thing. That's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he works no, and think about it. No, and here's the, the worst game. part. Him and Juwan are running Palace of the Dead right now. As we're recording, <laughs> they're grinding Palace of the Dead. But doesn't well, does like, Final right, Fantasy XIV so like, <laughs> slow so down your Fantasy level grinding <laughs> after you grinded so many levels in a day? No. Are you? No. It, it, it depends yeah. on how you're doing it. If you're relying on... If you're doing... Uh, if you're relying on duty finder leveling, yes. But no. Yeah, the, I don't know how every... to explain this into words, but like, there's your experience bar, and then like there would be your other experience. Oh no, bar. no, you're thinking of rested experience. Yeah. No, 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 because I've been logged off for so long that bar is long as shit. <laughs> <laughs> and because you haven't been on for a while, I mean, it's probably long as shit. I almost logged in earlier summer. and did the event quest. I don't know uh, what are they called in this game. Fates. No. It's like an event and it's a quest. But like Special I feel like quest? <laughs> I, I feel like it has a name. I feel like there's a name what for What do you get for it? Uh umbrella to meet Yoshi P in game, uh umbrella and some potpourri. Some pop <sighs> meet potpourri? Yoshi P in game? That sounds fucking awesome. It does sound yeah. awesome. Is there a dap like emote? Oh, it's seasonal event. Seasonal event. There we go. I knew it had a name. Thanks, Juwan. <laughs> Out here grinding Palace of the Dead. Monsters. This is why I can't keep up. Now that I'm caught up, technically, Did technically, y'all enjoy Palace of the Dead? It's fun with I friends. played it legit once. Yeah. Uh, I, I played it, with... it out so many times. Mm. It's, it's like this. It's really good for getting experience. It mm-hmm. just gets real old. Real quick. Yeah, that was my... I was like, I'm over this. That's why you just got to play with, like, a different class. And then just like, oh, let me learn... Let me literally mm-hmm. learn my rotation. That's the most fun. When you can actually just... Or, like, yeah, I'm trying so to practice. Like, next time I'll probably run Red Mage. My just, funnest experience dealing with a class was picking up Samurai, doing... The first few quest, like first three, probably job quests, because you get those like kind of spaced out, yeah. and then level skipping my samurai to seventy, and then just playing through all of Shadowbringers as my samurai, because I didn't mm-hmm. like, I level skip my samurai while I was in post game Stormblood, and then my i hit shadowbringers a couple quests in my warrior hit 80 and then i switched to my samurai at 70 mm-hmm. and played through that game as a samurai or that game as a samurai i was about to like correct myself and say expansion but shadowbringers dog oh, that game. <laughs> uh, i got to I, I feel like this is the really the first time that the like even the up later updates, like every update. Oh, the patches! Kind of, yeah, oh those, my! Yeah, they just always hit. Oh my god! I w- the only time I have wished that I played. Can you go back and replay? Because new game plus is a thing. No, I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> I am not, Chris. <laughs> For no experience, you can replay through a Realm Reborn. No. Would I? Could I do it? Un? No, it wouldn't be unsynced. It'd just be hard. <laughs> What's the point of New Game Plus? To I hate really yourself. Don't. I think just to re-experience the story. I don't think there's anything. I mean, I don't think there's a point, especially when you can go to your room and watch all the cutscenes. Yeah, but you're not playing all the cuts. I think it's just to okay, replay the game. I'm going to my room, and I need to. Go to my room on PC and do the Warrior of Light <laughs> thing, 
and just screenshot that over and over. Because it was so many times where I got a messed up screenshot because mm-hmm. the screenshot icon was still up on the screen on my PlayStation. I was like, oh, I can't screen, I can't ruin this amazing screenshot with that I icon. I hate that you would think they would just fucking not capture that. You, you would think. think you would think. <laughs> you would honestly think on a PlayStation Five. It's like I all right. Honestly, I, it's like okay. I, I got a nice shot here. Sweet. Oh my god! This is the amazing. Fuck. That's the crazy what part. Even when you stream, they get Anything? it on PS Five. Screen, screenshotting. Like so on PS Five. What we oh. on PS Four and PS Five. We set our screenshot to instead of like hitting the share button and it trying to pause and do all that. You just tap the button. It takes a screenshot. A little icon comes up to confirm that you took a screenshot, and then it goes away. The problem is, if I take a screenshot of this, the icon comes up. Something else cool happens. I hit the screenshot button again. That confirmation icon is in my screenshot. And it's a pain. The fact that the PS5 is smart enough to not show my notifications, it can actually have my chat coming up and you not see that watching the stream. Mm -hmm. The fact that the PS5 has gotten, like, none of my notifications that I'm getting on a system level from PlayStation that are popping up on my screen, friends coming online, people starting voice chats, none of that stuff Mm -hmm. you're seeing on the stream. At least they got really good about that because on PS4, it'd just be this pixelated blob thing Anytime you get anything. But, yeah. So it's smart enough doing that while streaming. You can't be smart enough to take away that system level notification while I'm trying to take screenshots of the mm-hmm. insane shit that is going on in Can this game right now. Can you use the in-game? In a cutscene, Chris? Oh, that's fair. <laughs> I oh yeah, you guys like, were like posing and, whatever. and doing in-game. No, like. that's, that's fine. I can, if we're posing, I can wait the three seconds for the thing to go away to take another screenshot. Yeah. We do need to take take another group photo. Mm-hmm. We do need another one. I just got my glamour out. Oh, unfortunately. Yo, where are we going? Squad. We could, be, we could be deep. We could be deep. <laughs> we could be deep. <laughs> I meant like, I more so meant which server are we going to. I think we're on, we're all on Gilgamesh now, right? No. 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 I have I, not been back in Gilgamesh okay. in a minute. I'm be honest. We went I'm back gonna, to Adam Antoys? I don't know why people keep coming to Animantoys. Because when you were growing up, we would always... People keep coming to Animantoys. People never left Animantoys. Yeah, because we were playing the game with you, and we were just stayed in Animantoys. Okay, so you are where? I'm in Gilgamesh. Here's the thing. (laughs) I'm probably going to say fuck it and end up getting a transfer. Why? Why? So much money, and they can just come to you. How much is no point in transferring? I think it's 18 bucks. You could just... No, you don't have to do that. You could... So we can get a free company. Yes. That's the thing. Yes. I want y'all to actually come to Adam Antoy so we could do a free company. And How many people are in Gilgamesh compared to how many people are in Adam Antoy? More people actually, technically look, okay, are in Adam Antoy than home Gilgamesh. Server, mm-hmm. Our world server is one of the most popular. It's the NA world server. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, Gilgamesh is... It's, it Gilgamesh took me a while, while to the Raiders get in are. there. Yeah. That's the thing about it is Gilgamesh is where the Raiders are. Yep. I, my proposition, because I will have to do it as well. We can do this real socialist-like. Mm-hmm. We all pay <laughs> our world transfer fees to a central place and then have that central place pay for all our world transfers. I don't know if I just explained money laundering. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just explained. Look, Twitch. that's just mon- money laundering with slightly different steps. <laughs> but money laundering, but in a different font. <laughs> <laughs> My proposition is we all go to Genova, and we start our free company there. Juwan's the only one. The thing is, Gilgamesh and Adamantoys are equally populated. I've seen some shit posted in Adamantoys. Adam, <laughs> Adamantoys is just fun. nothing but like, <laughs> like, like buff dudes with like no shirt on or like beach wear. Just all in a group just standing there. Just like, it was dozens of them. 
Okay, so apparently we can't do this right now because all our worlds are congested. But Everything like, no, on because we're on the most popular world server. Yeah, we're we we're have on the, the most popular servers. data center. Data center. Data, yeah. data center. I am not swapping oh, no, data right, centers. Right, no, no, no. Hell, oh no, that's no, right. no. That's no. Right. I draw the hard line. <laughs> yeah, all of us. So, whenever this is a possible thing, I'm thinking I would campaign for Adamantois. Because Adamantois, y'all, everybody. I feel like Limsa Lomosa is way more fun than Adamantois. Yes, I, I mean, I'll be a hundred here. I would not. I would not complain about it being Adamantois since basically I've lived here for the past three months. That's I true. Just I, every to time Genova I log in, it's like I you're on a Genova. different server, and I'm like, am I, I actually have a character on Genova? I have a character on Genova too, but I am not. Not do that again. Absolutely, that under like no level, fucking circumstances. That's like level twelve. Starting that boy. game over. <laughs> I think I'm on my first dungeon. Yeah, second dungeon. I had a different looking cat girl. Like I played on my worst looking cat girl. That's the one on, that was on Adamantois that eventually turned into a bunny girl. Mm-hmm. Like that was my like more rush character like the character that i the first time i did the character creator and really went deep in there and was like tuning shit that character is on genova but that character is like level that character might be like level 30 honestly because <laughs> remember i i started over mm-hmm. so but that was but yeah so uh i guess it's adamantos i was going to say genova because Gilgamesh and Adamantos are equally populated as far mm-hmm. as our people, and so it. I mean, I, I it's mean, a toss honestly, up. Yeah, I mean, but then if, if we were to go to Genova, only Juana's in Genova. All of us would be doing it. All of us would like kind of have that common ground of like we're all here now. Is the housing crisis less in Genova? It's bad on our entire data center. Chris. <clears throat> it's bad everywhere, but like. Yo, it's... Man can dream. That is insane. Art the housing imitates, crazy? Art imitates life. That's all I'm saying. I'm telling y'all. There are people I who... need to play more Kojima games. Play Snake Eater. I need to... I think... I'm hoping Bluepoint does this MGS1 remake that has been rumored for forever. Because I'd do that... And then I would, on my Xbox, get the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, mm-hmm. and I'd play 2 and 3, and then I'd, I'd play, I might PlayStation now, Metal Gear Solid 4. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd bust out a PS3 for that. Mm-mm. I'd PlayStation now. It. Do I have Metal Gear? I have Metal Gear Solid 4 digitally. So you might be able to, can you play it on PlayStation 4? No. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to PlayStation now. I really hate game streaming, y'all. XCloud really is the best, but that's because I haven't really put XCloud to the test. I've only played XCloud on my phone and it with touch controls, and it's worked good enough there. But I mean, yeah, I played. That's the only place I really played. It was on my phone, and was like, and connected right. a controller to it, and I was like, I haven't even connected a controller. I've just done touch controls. Like, I'm sitting at lunch, I got an extra five minutes, I bring up Xbox Cloud mm-hmm. Stream and be like, hey, not terrible. I'm running this over 5G, not even ultra-wideband, just like mm-hmm. regular schmegular out-the-box 5G, and I'm playing with touch controls, and this isn't complete garbage. Congrats. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Considering Stadia has been complete garbage on my gigabit cat 7 in goddamn... <laughs> I was going to say, it was like, well, it's uh, Xbox compared to Stadia is Google. Google has no yeah. fucking excuse. Google has no fucking excuse for Stadia to suck. And I mean, while Sony bought Gaikai and Gaikai was its own thing for a minute, PlayStation Now should be better as well.
while we're talking about Game Pass, because I don't think we got this in the recording, Robbie's saying going to play Final Fantasy 13 coming to Game Pass. I am aware Final Fantasy 13 is coming to PC and console Game Pass. That is an irrelevant statement for me because I own the <laughs> entire Final Fantasy 13 trilogy on Xbox. Like, I just own those games mm-hmm. on Steam and physically on PlayStation 3. My save that I need to go back and beat is on is on my PS3. I would replay from the jump if it were to come to PS4 or PS5, because that's Madrid just dead <laughs> for non-video watchers. Madrid just put his head on the table for like the from the second Final Fantasy 13 was I know mentioned you want 13 until to right die. now. He's just waiting for the day that 13 is never mentioned. Actually, I'm just going to be 100. It's, I'm going to say here, 13 is not as bad oh, as we make it out to be. <laughs> but also, it's funnier. It's the most, it's the best one to make fun of. So wait, it, it's like if you don't take the game seriously and you're just trying to have a good time, it's a good game? No. 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 So, Chris, <laughs> no, I'm, just, no, I'm it's, aware it's, okay, okay, that it's no, here's not the thing about that 13. good of a game. It is just, Why do we do I this have every a, time? I, Why? Yeah, I have a personal Why? vendetta with this game. Why? Why? The soundtrack slaps, though. It's a good soundtrack. But no. it's a Final <laughs> Fantasy game. Yeah? They don't miss. Yeah. Look, here, here's the thing about it. Here's the thing so about it. So is 13. 11, but I'm not about Thir- to boot that shit up anytime soon. People also still play that one. Yeah. Do- I, I'm i not one of those people, all right? That's the other MMO. Yeah. yeah, I was like, 11 is online, right? And they still have servers going? Private servers. Wow. Here's the thing. I really think that one wasn't good. outside of 11, one thing I might try and start working towards because of 14 is playing all of them. Because I'm at the point where I'm caught up in 14. And well, then February that- is right around the corner. Final Fantasy February. You know that thing that I always propose but never do? <laughs> hey, man, you know? If they bring those pixel remasters to PlayStation, they bring over those pixels with. Remastered Done. Anywhere. Said. Those pixel remasters are probably going to come to anywhere two, three, four, five, and six. Quick succession. Fucking Steam and mobile. I have seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, two, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. It's going to come to Game I have Pass. all of them. Give me one through six. Give me that, that that smidge right there. I'll do it. Did you play the Final Fantasy games that were on Game Pass? Because there's a. I'm I have all of those on PlayStation. I have. Did you beat them? No, but I don't have Game Pass, and I can play them. Like that's the thing. I'm motivated now to actually play them because I'm realizing it's all the way up to nine are all manageable amounts of time. That's true. And so, but 10, if I play 1 through 9, mm-hmm. I'm playing 10, 12, 13, and 15 again. That's, yeah, just skip 11. There's no, no way. I'm not doing it. <laughs> There's a way. There's a will. It's not And worth. there is a way. But I'm not doing it. No. <laughs> I, I played 14. Yeah. No story skips. <laughs> Slowed down my tech speed once I got into post game. Uh, Is there story skips in fourteen? Yeah, you can straight up go on the store and story skip. But that's so trash. You should never do that. Yeah, that that play the fucking game. I what looked if you're at just it like on a you know a different character. Wait, wait. Okay, uh, yeah. Wait, if you've I, already gone through the story, then Eleven's getting new content. What? I give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what? Fuck. <laughs> 11 is where, getting new console. Where can you play that game on a regular console? You can play it on PC, and that's where it matters. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Yeah, you can just straight up right no, now. No, you have to play it on Windows. Wow. Oh, it's not on console anymore. No, well, they the, the console versions ended like 2016. <laughs> yeah, so it's you on You have PC. to play it on PC, but yeah. You could still play 11. Yeah, you still... I could, my PC, while it is aging rapidly, and I see, like, some of my work computers have better parts that are in my PC. <laughs> yeah, like, I, <laughs> I mean, that PC is, no, like, I told four the guy years old that now. does the stuff, I'm like, look, 
next time you see, <laughs> I gave him like a list a of parts. List? I'm like, if you see any of these, let Call me know. Me. Let's go. <laughs> Call me immediately. Because I need my Gen 4 NVMe <laughs> SSD to slap in my PlayStation. Gen 4? Yes. Yes, Chris. I think right. I th- <laughs> is Gen 4 out yet? Yes, Gen 4 is the SSD you need to put in a PS5. That is the SSD. I thought you were saying Gen 3. No, Gen 4. Right. Yeah, like Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah Montana. I don't know why I went from Diamond and Pearl, <laughs> Diamond and Pearl, Hannah Montana. <laughs> You're talking about that white? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Diamond... Pearl, Molly, <laughs> White. <laughs> I thought he wasn't were talking about Molly, Molly, right? I heard Molly Percocets. Like, you were like, Molly? And I was really expecting Percocets. Percocets? Either way. Fair enough. It all comes down to drugs. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Capitalism. Cheers to that. I'm going to keep this going. <laughs> got to gotta consume. Uh, I mean, Consuming really, I know outside of Final Fantasy XIV, not much has been getting played. But has there been like that interstitial for any of you guys this week? Yo, hold on. We There's something else we didn't talk about. Well, we didn't Martin talk about. Luther King in Fortnite. <laughs> Martin Luther King. I've denounced Fortnite officially. Like I, <laughs> in Fortnite, Fortnite is about to be deleted Actually, off my PlayStation you know, you Five for the first is, time it, since it, I've had my well, PlayStation. Okay, okay, 5. okay. So real, shit, real like, shit, real shit, real shit. This is a nuanced conversation because the intent, which not just intent, but it's like as if it was handled. It's one of those things where it's like if they turned off skins. Turned off weapons and turned off emotes. They turned off weapons. I mean, and emotes it, it, only things that like have been yeah. deemed like offensive. I, yeah, but what I'm saying is they, they should have just shut all that off and actually just let it be yeah. the learning opportunity that it was supposed to be. Should have just been no like that's emotes. the thing about it is they were still trying to make it Fortnite. That uh, I feel like that's kind of effective. Like, if I'm playing Fortnite and you drop me somewhere without my skins, without my back bling, without any of my shit, that's the whole point of Fortnite is your shit that you're wearing in Fortnite. That really Yeah, but, is- like, why, why am I walking around fucking dressed as Rick and Morty when it's time to go to that's watch a the series? Real reason. Yeah, and this is where we get like into it. It's like, do I want to be dressed speech. up as Ariana Grande going to a colored-only fountain? Right. Yeah. Like, you're going through the whole museum... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we don't really need that juxtaposition of like exa- the cartoon again, you Fortnite don't need, nature. Exactly. We don't need to be look. We don't need that meme content being made, right? Because you know, like content creators, streamers, anything like that. If they're if it's they're posting this shit, it's going to look seriously. fucked up. And then like even before, like when they dro- I woke up, I was on Twitter. The first thing I see is. Somebody be like, yeah, coming to Fortnite. My, I just see a picture of Martin Luther King, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm cra- really glad that is crazy. That, that is crazy. Oh, that. No, oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. They knew they couldn't do that. This and they that probably. Was, and also, here's my like, question. No, 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 no. That's a terrible idea. And also, why did why do it at the end of August? That's so, something that doesn't make any sense. To no, me. it's because it's, it's just Time to do Magazine it. is doing it. It's not even Epic doing it. That's the thing. Time Magazine has been granted like additional stuff in creative mode like creative mode already is you could play stuff in creative mode and not even realize you're playing fortnite that's how like if you thought forge was deep if you thought like oh you give you give a community tools to alter something they'll go hog wild imagine Mm -hmm. if it's just a user-friendly version of unreal engine that you're giving the community that's yeah. what Fortnite creative mode is. Like, th- and this, <laughs> was, this was a team of black creators who did it. Right. So, as far as the content itself, and you guys are right, this is a really nuanced conversation. The reason I'm denouncing Fortnite, it has nothing to do with Martin Luther King, has nothing to do with Will Smith, has nothing to do Bad with... Bad boys. It, it has you, can a... go, you can go, however, as Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Will Smith is in Fortnite as... 
What's his name in Bad Boys? Mike God. Lowry. Ma- Mike, Mike Lowry. Lowry. Mike Lowry. <laughs> Mike Lowry is itself. a skin in Fortnite. Because <laughs> he's salty. Because Fortnite. But the time, <laughs> specifically talking about this time thing, it's black creators working. It's working within the confines of Fortnite creative mode. And I feel like... Yes, your argument about being a xenomorph and like watching the yeah. I Have a Dream like, speech come on, come on. being that- weird, but for the people, the audience is trying to reach is not you, obviously, no, because it's important. Mean, once again, it's like even then you look at it, no one was actually taking any of that seriously because we were dressed up as xenomorphs. So people gained T-posing. education. Did they really care, or were they just doing check marks to no, get battle pass? No, I feel pass? it's actually like a curated thing. Like I haven't done it yet, and I'm not sure if it's going to be something because I haven't been playing Fortnite. I've been playing 14, and occasionally I, I, I watch some videos of uh, people going through it, and it's one of those things where it's like y- it has educational. It, value. I, I'm saying it has educational value. I personally believe that the. I personally believe my side of the where I've sit in this is. It's a good idea. I just think that it was poorly executed, and I think it's. I think, I think it's, what made it poorly executed handled. specifically is the whole trying to keep it Fortnite thing. I sit. I personally they should have turned off the skins and emotes and let you just go through that curated experience. I think if they As just did what, that, though? you would have been able to, huh? If there's not like a creative character in Fortnite, like everybody would be Jonesy, the default character, which is a. Blonde hair, blue eyed, white guy. No, there's like three different uh, creative. No, three, three. no, not anymore. Those characters. It's not like those characters don't exist. You have to buy them. <laughs> they can give them to. You. They can assign and you. If a you're, fucking, and they then, can assign you a fucking character to go. Okay, so once it, that just proves my point further that the problem with this once again lies in the fact that it's in Fortnite. I mean, they take that up with time. Skins. Take I that up. I, with... I, like I said, I it, I believe it has educational value. I just think it could have been handled better. Okay, and then yeah, I like, feel like, like it said, is a good first step. Okay, yes, it is both of those things. Now they see what they could kind of do, like if they wanted to do some shit like this in the future, blah, blah, blah. Right, you're saying it has but educational value. It still happened, <laughs> and now we got to deal with like there was that whole day was literally nothing but memes on a on a more serious situation. But some of the people that did that especially kids like that was something i realized like coming up in aps mm-hmm. now like, imagine those kids are trying to watch this shit unfold on twitch and they are watching their favorite streamer be hate rated but then also like how are, are you sure that kids are or that and the audience that it was intended for are actually absorbing that information and not just once again doing the soldier boy in front of mlk at the end of the day, this is analogous to the field trips at school that I took with my friends to the King Center. I have learned actual facts while me and my friends are doing some dumb shit, like singing Ultimate Showdown, like out, like while it's kids, they're going to meme, they're going to do dumb shit, they're going to floss. Like I don't know what kids do. <laughs> I date. I felt so old when I said kids are gonna flop. I was, I was like, like man, this sounds cringe. Like Another like gray hair just ago. happened. Just say, just say TikTok dance. Yeah, kids are gonna TikTok. Yeah, that's safe no, they haven't nowadays. had a TikTok dance since thought shit came out. That hasn't oh, yeah, been a new TikTok since the thought shit came they out. They stopped creating uh, TikTok it, Yeah, dances. that's literally the economy all that then shit. Then they're being rampantly shadow banned. Keeping it a buck. As a middle schooler, I was doing Fortnite level dumb shit. I mean, with yeah. my friends at the King Museum here in Atlanta. I mean, you're right. So there is, and yeah, I but learned. No, but this, but this goes back to my but, to go there. But that's also something else. It's like once again, it's like I mean, you could have not gone on the field trip, but it was a field trip. The same way you could not yeah, play Fortnite, are, but they're playing are Fortnite. Tied for a field trip, it's like all right. I, I don't know. I still I don't yeah. know. I I I think it's a good idea. Is once again, I think it's more of the. Let, let's put it this way. I think it would have been more effective if they put it in Minecraft than they put it in Fortnite. That's that's where I really sit on this. Actually, if you took that idea and put it in Minecraft, I feel like it would have been more effective than if you put it in Fortnite. That's you probably can't fair. realize events. You can't realize like an experience the same way. 
Minecraft's going to be Minecraft. Yeah, I don't know about Minecraft. I feel Fortnite, like Fortnite was fine. They just should have. They just should have like. Right, and but I feel like it's a first step. It's a on. It's an earnest. Check, oh yeah, like, like I said, it's, it's an it's earnest a, it's a attempt. Like, like they need to start reaching out to more people before they I, just launch something. You know, there's a there's plenty of outspoken people with opinions who you should probably talk to who would be like more. And, in then, the also, know and, and then, then also, like, this is the like is what, and then also this comes ideas. to the next version of what version of MLK are they really displaying here? Are they? displaying the more white friendly version which is just i have a dream assassination or we're going to talk about the fact that he was murdered on his way to a workers rally like i don't think like like his death is they are covering they're covering and it's for time like all of these decisions are being made like the content and all of this are the decisions are being made by time magazine and who is own who owns time brother i don't know warner probably it seems (laughs) (laughs) Now y'all do y'all go run y'all Googles and just know that <laughs> they got your time, brother. Does Warner actually own the time? Meredith Corporation? What is that? <laughs> Look up what else they own. The Meredith Corporation. Yeah, what are they? Who are they? Because that's like the Nobel Peace Prize. Like that's okay. a, that has I don't know. Look, I see Time as a reputable magazine as a. As a something to, if Time wrote, Time wrote an article about Destiny and it was like a defining moment in legitimizing video games to normal people, like mm-hmm. the, I, I, the people that subscribe to Time magazine, and I know that's like a dying breed, but like the thing. But the, also, I I feel like I've always felt like that's always been the worst people to try and legitimize yourself to, in my opinion. Because, but that's not what they're trying to do. I know. Right now. I'm just okay. saying yeah. that yeah. it, the knock-on effects that it's had as far as culturally here in America, as a magazine. When I say time, I could no, no, no. I know what you're saying about time. I'm, I'm, I'm more thinking about gaming specifically. Like that part is what I'm mulling over. But like time, yes, I understand. Like, yeah. So. I feel like those decisions are being made by people we can trust to make decisions about making a piece of content, video, written, audio. I mean, the thing is, we have to be critical of these situations. If we are not critical of them, but they're we never going to change. We can't. That's the thing. If we give them so much backlash that nobody that's ever the about has it, the they, opportunity. That's the thing about, about it. No one gave so really backlash. There's been a it? couple of critiques, and that's been it. Like... Yeah, and it was the initial wave of memes, and then after that, after the hype died down, it was a couple critiques. I haven't seen anything really seen anyone talk about it since. That's true. Pretty much, like it died I can't pretty like. Fast. Yeah, like what backlash? Yeah, if anything, it was like people just needed to like. That's what I'm saying. Like they once saw, they, they saw it. They, they were see like, what happens. I, they saw it. Listen to people. Like you, you, you now know, see. I'm glad. Has, I think. The consensus we're coming to is that we're all glad that it happened. We're critiquing it. <laughs> I'm not glad, but I'm also... Like, when it first happened, I was mad, but now I'm not mad. Cause, Help no, me no, understand I'm just, I'm why about, were like, you mad. From, like, just seeing Martin seeing Luther, Martin King, Luther Fortnite, King in a Fortnite it's thing. It's like, what the fuck? Uh, the first joke that was I no saw about this... Besides comp- just the image. I okay. saw the tweet. And then I saw the first thing I saw was somebody making a joke of this better not be a skin because sniping Martin Luther King in and Fortnite. That's how I got introduced to the entire thing. It yeah, pretty is, much. Is, oh, am I going to be able to snipe him? Okay, in Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. And so the, in that initial, that was literally. Those shouldn't a even long, have to be in the same sentence. They really like, shouldn't. But I mean, that's also fucked. Like Twitter is partially responsible well, for the yeah, fact but then that it's that also happened. like, but then also like, how can you not think that when you hear the words MLK in Fortnite, especially especially with the recent rampaging of third party characters becoming Fortnite characters, like. 
we're not at the like yeah this, that would have been extremely distasteful i agree yeah. with you guys wholeheartedly mm-hmm. like a hundred percent it's like this it's, it's like this that would have been day, super fucked up and not MLK, okay but, but they also, didn't do that also the thing about it is also when it comes to mlk this that's a semi that's a nuanced topic like you can't just go on and do stuff with that and it's like and at first glance that looks like the definition of just doing some shit are you okay I'm good. <laughs> my mind was just like playing footage. And I was, oh my God. <laughs> you were seeing a highlight reel of killing MLK. No, no, not even that. Just like I was just imagining like a Martin Luther King skin, just like in Fortnite, like like the shotgun battle <laughs> with the Z. I'm like, yo, this. God, not, yo, okay, like the fact that it. I can, like, we can even sit here have this conversation and this be like a valid talking point. This should, this should. We be live in the darkest timeline. This yeah, is, no, we're, that we're, shows we're you that fucked. the timeline is fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then also, it's like another Fortnite thing about it. isn't a video game. Fortnite is part of the metaverse. Fortnite and hearing a, a Mark Zuckerberg man. interview where where he talks about the concept of the fucking metaverse, and it's it's not even like a concept; it's like a concrete thing somehow. The metaverse has been a thing for like twenty years at this point. I'm not like, okay like, with heck, that. Serial Experiments Lane was talking about this exact shit. It's, I'm not okay. It's been very real. Like if anything, that's been the topic of sci-fi since the eighties. That's the entire thing of cyberpunk. That's half of the neuromancer but right the there. The fact that Fortnite. Is a metaverse. Everything's yeah. a metaverse. Have you know? Ev- no, no, literally everything gets th- because of the internet. Everything gets turned into its own metaverse. Like Fortnite honestly, dog, is on the too, level of too. Facebook. Facebook considers themselves not as a social media platform, but as a metaverse. Facebook is an additional reality that exists alongside actual reality that they're trying to put you in VR. They're trying to augment. They're trying to do no, AR we're, augmented we're about reality. Two strong months away from Digimon, just straight up. Straight up. No, we're not, not even in game like no, we're IRL. Not. We're not two months away from Digimon. We're about two months away from full holographic Yu Gi Oh. That's we're about to hit Battle City. That's where we're going go. right straight Here's towards Battle City. Go. All of these things, all of these like sci-fi level concepts are just completely possible at but, this but point. The, the, uh, but here's the thing. But, but also the thing, thing about those same sci-fi is concepts is that they feasible and tangible. They've been feasible and tangible for a good while now. It's just to think about our technologies that the way the tech basically if they can figure out how to monetize that's what gets the new tech. That's pretty much just the way technology grows. And it's, I think it's like even deeper than just the technology. I think it also goes down to like the human consciousness in and of itself. Because that it's an like, environment thing. Like part of it is the fact that like most of our physical spaces have been moved online. Like you know, yeah, it's it's like this is the like most if you're connected. Broke, it's really it's like if you don't have money, it's really hard to kind of just see people in real space. This is like the most connected that the human race has kind of been. Right. No. That disconnected. You know, yeah. Well, no. it, like well, we're disconnected, but also we're connected. Still that, the the in fact somewhere. that I talk to Darren on a regular basis, and Darren lives on the other side of the country in the '90s. You know how prohibitively expensive that would have been. We are the like while we are disconnected as far as like the yeah that long dichotomy would be a bitch. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. long distance fucking I mean, landline. We can ha 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 with Brits all the fucking time now. Right, that is that's the thing. I we can, can watch ta- Japanese streamers just right now. The Japanese Weather Channel. I did additional monitors. It's a twenty four seven Japanese like in Tokyo, all Japanese. I don't understand and anything. Like, I can't about read it, anything. Like a lot of like the things that we would consider like the meta, like you know different tropes and shit that just become heavily prevalent. Those shits are across media, just all at the same time. Mm-hmm. Like you know, people's minds are going to start to align. I mean, but they have naturally. Like the thing about it though is like yes, take the heroes, true. take the whole concept of the hero's journey. You that goes all the way back to the Epic of Gilgamesh, which is the oldest recorded story we have. Like. The, and but that's also why the thing we about should it go is, to though, Gilgamesh server. Is when it comes to storytelling, <laughs> though, specifically is for humans, 
it's more about how well the story is told, less so than what the story is. Take The Mummy. The Mummy is one of the best movies out there. It's fun and entertaining to watch. You try to analyze it, it ain't much there. But every single time you put it on, you're going to enjoy that 90 minutes every single time. That's true. It doesn't try to do anything super deep. It doesn't have a bunch of complex ideas and stuff. It's a really good story, entertainingly told. Yes. And that's the thing about humanity. That we're just a really good story, entertainingly told? Yeah. Yes. I mean, heck. Hmm. So many things are just the stories we tell ourselves. That's true. Yeah. That's been another episode of the Coffee Controller Coffee Podcast. Controller Podcast. <laughs> you thought but, it was over. Why don't we express our feelings with some espresso? <laughs> oh, man. I could go for some espresso right now. I'm not going to We just lie. had cold brew. I have a caffeine addiction. That's fair. <laughs> It's starting to get to that point. I'm probably going to wake up early in the morning just so I could either, A, make myself like a like a French press pot or, mm. like, go to the coffee shop down. B, go to the coffee shop down yeah, the street. Like, I've got, I got I to gotta be down right next to Hodgepodge at, like, 1130. So the moment I'm done, I'm going to get some yo, espresso. Get, get that old honey. It's good. I've gotten to the it's point to, like... Day making co- uh, like a pot of coffee pouring me a cup and not sweetening it with like milk or creamer but buying like the oat milk mocha cold brew and using that as my cre- creamer so it's like cold brew on top of my coffee cup mm-hmm. and i'm just like fucking ready to go yeah my absolute favorite like thing right now is just dirty chais Ooh, those my, are fucking my good. perfect mix is two shots of espresso mm-hmm about four ounces of coffee, top yeah. the rest of it with either cherry vanilla or orange vanilla Coke. Orange vanilla? Yeah. I... Yeah, orange vanilla Coke slaps. Yeah. It's okay. the truth. It is the truth. I don't, it's like a per- Coke dream sickle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't drink much soda. It's either coffee, water, or, I mean, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tea, water. Oh. I'm trying not to drink as much alcohol. That's fair. But this weekend, three day weekend. <laughs> three day weekend. Fuck it. Not for me. Half day with time and a half. On Shit, Monday. I'm going on That's vacation 14. starting tomorrow. Mm. Turn yes, off, Lord. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Thanks. Get you a <laughs> fucking break. Everyone deserves one. <laughs> right. For real. Everyone deserves one. Workers' rights and all. Remember, that. take your PTO. Take your PTO. Pay take time your take your off. fifteen. Take your full break. You know, don't do work on your lunch. Yeah, you know, yeah. That uh, you especially know, don't that, do work on your lunch. They're not paying you. Yeah, that has been like me on lunch is just completely <clears throat> detracted from work. I mm-hmm. leave, I clock out, go get in my car, drive to the gas station, get something to eat, listen to a podcast, listen to some music. Like yeah, do, sit in there. I set a timer. For like my allotted break, timer goes off, go back into work, clock back in. Like completely detaching yeah. is really great. Like I'll FaceTime Angelina. Yeah. I'll like. You gotta have look, that if I'm yeah. not on balance. the clock, I do not give a fuck. Yeah. I've been actually enjoying lunch breaks. I've been like bringing yeah. in leftovers. Like me and this other dude I work with. He was like, you play Duel Links? And I was like, shit, fuck it, I will now. <laughs> Yo, you're on Duel Links? I'm on Duel Links? Links? Yeah, man. Go Me and him just like duel, duel during lunch. I was like, Josh this is great. We need to get Josh in here. Oh, jo- next Yo, time we're everybody here. check out Josh's Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash I Know Jones on okay. any day okay. but today. Okay. Hopefully, Did we give him the memo? If Josh was streaming today, he just didn't get the memo. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, he really like, don't get on social media a lot anymore. Yeah, anyway. yeah that's the thing. So, but <laughs> he's been streaming. Like, Damn, ain't nobody. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's been streaming the Pokemon TCG and like the fact that he's like doing ranked. Oh, he's sweaty and, too. That's the thing. He's doing ranked and he's titling all his streams with the date. So he has like ladder matches with the date as like his title. So like. Josh is actually out here grinding and streaming on Pokemon TCG. And the crazy part is, all of us who know Josh or know of Josh, all of our minds are equally blown by this. So every time I see the notification and I'm in a position that I can watch, I'm going to watch. Like, I ain't no man to play Pokemon like that. Apparently, like, I don't know. Yeah. It's Josh. I'm going to try to play. <laughs> I want to play Josh to some Pokemon. I'm going to get 
You have Swept. to like, get the digital cards. Like that's the thing. I've watched him tr- sit uh, sit up there and trade, trying to get like cards he needed for decks. Like the Pokemon Online TCG, I've known is a whole huge like. It's, it's a, a thing. thing. It's wait. It's do you thing. have to like? You have to get the <laughs> like have, physical cards. So you can physical cards. Every pack of Pokemon cards for a long time now has come with the code that yeah. you can put in. I kind of tried to get into that, and then I realized no, it's Josh hell right is now. Into that. Josh is into that. <clears throat> I've gone to like Target and be like, I'm going to buy a pack of Mo- Pokemon cards. They're sold out. Yeah. Oh, and you can only stop, buy they one. They stop doing it like online. Because motherfuckers well, were, not online, in stores, because people were, were like fighting the people. Crazy. So here's Over the card, thing just trading about, cards, here's Pokemon the thing cards, about Yu-Gi-Oh, baseball. Mm-hmm. Josh and the game he's playing versus what you're talking about. Yes, Pokemon cards have gone crazy. Yes, Whatever, whichever one of the Paul brothers showed up wearing a Charizard Pokemon card as his chain to a boxing match. Like, Pokemon cards have got, like, any collectible cards that have had any value have, like, COVID just, like, threw everybody into a frenzy. What? But before that, even when I got my Detective Pikachu cards that I got, me and Angelina got mm-hmm. for going to the theater to see Detective Pikachu in theater pre-COVID. Yeah. Packs for years have been coming with these codes that you can enter in online because now people are buying packs in bulk. They are selling mm-hmm. these codes that come in the packs. Like if they're drawing for rare holographics to resell to like recoup and like all that stuff, the codes are being sold for like they make a profit if they sell it for like three cents. Because all they have to do is send you the thing. No postage, no shipping, no, like, they just send you the code that's on the card that they pulled out the pack that they sold another card for that paid for the entire box that they bought. So, I mean, I don't know if Josh has fallen down that (laughs) rabbit hole just yet. It's bad. I mean, if you got, like, the black and white version that did reprints of the originals that you can get, like, holographic Charizard, them motherfuckers go hard. One pack is $24. Josh, chime in right now. Just, just. Just cut, edit, and give like, us your Like, I thoughts. did that. I was like, I was like, I fell down a rabbit no, hole. We like, which ones to person. go? We got to have Josh yeah. in Just person a quick two-minute synopsis. Yeah. <laughs> do what you That'd will be cool. with the audio. <laughs> like, I know you're not, no no not going to do this. Shouts out to Josh. <laughs> <laughs> but come on and play. Let's talk about some Pokemon yeah, cards. I'd be down yeah. to do that. Yeah. I've I mean, it's definitely us millennials, like, realizing this. We, like, as we said as kids, we, like, kept the cards and we're like, it's going to be worth money. And then we got older and it's like, it's worth money. Like, that I'm Trump- going to spend. <laughs> right. kind of had, like, a reverse, like, bell curve, kind of. Because they had the value they had when we bought them. Then they dipped precipitously for a really long time yep. and then it was legitimately only in like 2019 2020 mm-hmm. that prices shot up and the collector mentality shot but up. then also part of it was covid like a lot of collection hobbies blew up during covid yeah, yeah. a lot, a of, people lot of manga <laughs> manga yeah. heck manga uh what you were ju- you were just talking about? Freaking people got into painting Warhammer figurines. I'm t- like yeah. Jalen, you've told me to slap. <laughs> <laughs> just slide casually, slide that in. Here's, I appreciate it. You appreciate you it. told me in no uncertain terms to slap the shit out of you if I heard you were getting into painting Warhammer figures. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. If I catch you painting a Warhammer figure, all right? All right. I have not I have not bought a single thing. You told me to keep you clean, I'm going to keep you clean. Hey, and you know, buys... to slap the shit out of you, you're going to spin. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Go take. <laughs> you're going to spin a little bit if I catch you. <laughs> if I catch you painting a Warhammer figure. He's just going to get a 3D printer and print it out himself. That doesn't count. <laughs> me Look. having my own 3D printer does not count <laughs> if you get a 3D printer the first thing you're printing is my dog a new leg actually that'd be kind of cool no like legitimately Jalen said oh yeah we're gonna 3D print Venus a new leg and I'm like how much is a 3D printer <laughs> I'm like that's a good I know, one I like, looked I, him up it's, there, mm, it, it's a I can print it in pieces and connect those pieces out of a 3D printer that costs like 150. 
Huh. You can print like Yeah, but like small... how stable is this? You're talking about a dog's leg. It would be honestly I could just suit like it's not gonna be articulatable or but it's it's just a solid I mean, no, chunk of no, plastic. Uh, no, it's like no, if we just create the right ball joint, like we, or, we could make a shape. We could we could Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Or I could just give her a basically like a crutch of a leg, like a a prosthetic leg, but I print it in pieces and super glue it together. Yeah. Or yeah. not even Instead super glue. Uh, you could just get like a little strip so you can make it adjustable. So you could just, you know, like Velcro, like a thing. Like, look, pretty much if you want to be as convenient as possible, 150. Because there's one that has a crate on top, yada, yada, yada. We're printing milk crates? We're 3D printing milk crates? <laughs> <laughs> that is like. I can't, I can't. I, Okay, how does that keep coming back every couple of summers? I don't understand it. Wait. The milk crate challenge. Is that a thing? I've never I've seen, never this seen before, that. I've seen seen never seen uh, that before. It's, okay, right I've now. only <laughs> seen it on the internet. I've never seen people actually do it in real life. But pretty much you just build a rickety ass staircase of milk crates and you got to go up and down it. Yeah, we but know what it is now, but I've die. never seen it before. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I Jalen, you just be like, way in like the internet. This is the well, last month was the. Well, no, first I don't. No, time. because no, <laughs> you know what? You every time it comes around, of course you see it on the internet because it's a bunch of videos of people busting. Their I've asses. never seen it on the internet no. before. Now, no. no, no, I think it, I know it's it's been around. It went around, made its round on Twitter before. It's just got memory hold. I'm I guarantee you. With some Mandela effect shit. You might be from a different Whoa. timeline. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong. Get with the that. variant. <laughs> we, I mean, we all are. So real crazy. I know a new episode of What If came out today, and I haven't what watched it. What if I it actually yet? watched them? Is it good? Like I, episode I listened two to. Is yes, so I listened to kind of good. funny. Kind of funny. They talked about it. I think on today's episode, and they were like, "Episode two is great, but everything else has been like." Eh. It's like, eh, it's okay. I, yeah, episode one was, eh. Episode two was fucking top shelf shit. Like, you could just watch episode two. I feel like that is my campaign with this show. Just watch episode just two. Just watch episode two. <laughs> Maybe there'll be another episode that good, because there are some things that they've shown in trailers, mm-hmm. and some like, what if the Guardians of the Galaxy were the Avengers? Like, that is a cool concept like, so they have some cool things in the chamber. What if uh, Marvel zombies? All right, Ooh. here. Okay. 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 So they well. have some good things in the thing, but I mean, as for, I haven't seen episode four Would yet. Guardians- but episode one and three were both meh. Episode two is fucking peak fiction. Ch- it's Chadwick Boseman's final performance as. Black Panther, and I feel like it might be his, the strongest Black Panther well, character okay, he's okay, portrayed. Okay, first first. Period. Well, it's, yeah, it's he's just not T'Challa. Black Panther. He's he's playing T'Challa because he never T'Challa. grows up to be Black Panther in right. this one. He becomes yeah. he's, a, he's he's basically Spike. From okay. Yeah. It's like, great. It's, yeah. it's basically Spike it's from Cowboy like, Bebop. I will say that episode is it's in my opinion it's the only one worth watching. Like. Yeah, Let's like, my here. campaign isn't go watch all the episodes of What If. Watch episode two. Thank me later. Okay, Shit's great. I'll watch, I'll watch epi- episode two. Yeah, because, I mean, like, the first one was, it felt like watching Captain America. It's just instead of, it's animated and it's a woman. Oh. But it's, like, the I, beat for beat the same plot until, like, the very end. The third episode was just like I guess in premise it was kind of cool but like something about it just didn't hit like that fair enough and I haven't seen episode 4 so <clears throat> out of the 3 that I've seen two hit so incredibly hard that like 4 could be complete dog shit and you would still yeah I'd still stand by the fact that 2 is something that you should watch and okay. it's fucking great fair enough <laughs> I am interested if they do 
do a Guardians of the Galaxy as that the is, Avengers. That sounds cool. I mean, yeah, it sounds that, like Suicide Squad. See, but, as also, like, this is, but that's actually my one thing about this show is uh, the what ifs that they're going to do are not the what ifs I necessarily care about. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, that's the thing about it. Like, are we I, getting the Spider Sorcerer? Is that something that I've... One thing, I've been having really weird dreams about just pop culture shit, like, in really, like, vanilla... <laughs> my dream... You weren't in the PFN party the other night when I told this story. So, the other night, I had a dream that from the Crunchyroll Funimation merger that has already happened IRL, mm -hmm. that the app got announced, like, their new service had been announced. And that was my dream, pretty much, like... <laughs> That Crunchyroll and Funimation, like, we know they fused. Like, we know that they are both owned by Sony now. Mm -hmm. And my dream was whatever the combination streaming service was out. Are they going to do a different one or are you just going to merge? We don't know what they're doing yet. Oh. Yeah. Back to what if. I am curious as a person who reads comics. Is this what if series that they're making mainly like geared towards people who no, watch no, all their no, shows? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Literally, it's all just, of it. They're every making single up, episode like, small is micro completely story, like, standalone. Yeah. Every single. It's like no. It's just like wondering who they're like trying to. No, it's just extra this content. Too. Okay. It's just like half of it yeah. is just. I'm going to be a hundred here. It's, it's just way. extra content, and half of it is fan service. Okay. But yeah. except this time, it, but as of the past two episodes. They've taken a noticeably dark shift. Yeah, like the first that episode I will was give... the first episode was kind of like hopeful, empowering with the, the with the uh, Captain Carter storyline. You know, mm -hmm. all that. Seeing how like, for example, you see that Steve could be Iron Man, but Tony could never pull off Captain America. Like it, right. it, that kind of thing. And then you had the second episode, which was just bangers, worth the price of the admission. Like, yeah, I mean, that's if, great. If you're paying for Disney Plus and you have Disney Plus. Watching episode two is worth the fact that this show exists. Yeah. And then you got... But then the last two episodes have gotten noticeably dark. Oh. Yeah. Like, the episode, episode three is literally what if all yet. the Avengers died during Fury's big week. Yeah. Oh. Because, yeah. like, the first... Literally, because most of phase I, one of the phase one Marvel movies yeah. happens in a week. Yeah. When they... That was one interesting thing they did with it. Like, that's the thing. One and three did... Like, I know it's not really going to have reverberations throughout the MCU. Like, these are all kind of standalone. It's an anthology mm -hmm. thing. Like, well, all of that. Yeah, possibly they could be setting up of this is how the world ends and in gets into the state where Marvel zombies could happen if they decide to do that. But, all, but well, all, no, no, Marvel no, all of these zombies is part of this. Marvel zombies is something they've shown. Yeah, no, Marvel zombies is gonna, probably going to be like the last what if story they do mm -hmm. for the okay. season. The thing that I will say that they do well, somehow we got into Marvel What If. The one thing I will say they do well with Mar with What If is I would take a second episode of any of the things they've done so far. Out of the th first three episodes that I saw, I'd take an episode two of the Captain Carter, especially the shit that happens at the end of that. Yeah. I'd take a continuation of that. I'd take a continuation of T'Challa as Star Lord. I'd take a continuation of the Avengers dying. What? Yeah. Uh, no, nah, that's a one and done, buddy. I know. I'm aware that it's a one and done, but like, as far as the story, yeah. Like, I mean, I I like I'd to take see, more. I agree with you. I'd like to see what happens to the world after, like. What if they didn't have its mightiest heroes? Like, I'd like to see what would happen after that. I'd take mm -hmm. a, just an episode two. Like, and I know, like... But then also, like, also, but on a second... But on another notion is I would love a what if that just did some, like, golden age superhero shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I kind of miss just superheroes. DC what if I feel like would slap. Animated DC what if? Like, I don't know if DC has, no, 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 like... Okay, they have Elseworld. And if, if I'm going to be 100 here, Elseworld is cooler than what ifs most of the time. 
and, and DC reason, is better at animated than Marvel. And, and I, I mean, if they did Elseworld, that'd be great because then we could get like steampunk pirate Batman, uh, things like a uh, steampunk right. pirate ba- Batman. Yes. Oh yeah, there's the there's no, there's Batman entire, Ninja oh. as just a fucking concept. Like I was like, oh no, like the ste- the steampunk <gasps> Gotham version is really cool. Like animated can, DC is top tier. Harley Quinn exists. The Harley Quinn show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I just want to say the DC has been. Dropping banging anime movies long before the Harley Quinn show came started. Very I true. just want to make no, sure that uh, is a thing. That, Escape that, from that, Arkham, the whole Constantine one, a, like yes, DC animated shit has been slapping consistently for a very long time. That Batman version of the Animatrix that they did, where it was a compilation mm-hmm. of like it was like an anthology of animated shorts in different like from different animators. All telling the story of a bunch of kids encountering Batman throughout the course of a day. I still have that DVD, and that is still one of my favorite like movies of all time. Because it's saying, like I a would feature love like, like one episode of like Batman Vampire. I already talk about steampunk pirate Batman, like that entire thing. I would take a bunch of Black Superman content. Okay, that is Earth Two, and and that's Earth Two. And the reason why I say that specifically is because. That is a whole different Kryptonian. That's the thing about it is he's take he take the care. mantle of Superman, but he yeah, his name fine. is Cal Zorel, I believe his name is. That's fine. All of the, uh, everything so, you're saying is completely fine with me. <laughs> I just want it animated and on yeah, my and screen. The, <laughs> yeah. I, honestly, I would love if they did Earth Two. Like Earth Two is the shit. It's so good. And the fact I I can see DC doing all of it. That's the thing. I mean, DC's but also this has been the thing about like all these companies forever is that they have limited possibilities of the content they can produce. It's just the but content DC's, they choose to produce. DC's been producing animated content like huge. Like Suicide Squad was great. Like the Suicide Squad. Like yes. the new Suicide. Like Polka Dot Man Suicide Fan Squad. Fantastic. Was great. But on the animated side, I don't, I can't think back to a memory I have of an animated DC thing ever that hasn't hit. Oh, that like, missed? Yeah. No, because they haven't done none in a minute. <laughs> well, actually, technically, Batman Hushed and The Killing Joke, those two kind of missed. I haven't especially seen the either of those. Huh? I thought The Killing Joke was really good. No, the, like comic the, comic. Comic. the comic was, but the thing yeah. about the co- Killing Joke comic is it's one of those things that should have just happened once. Uh-huh. We should have saw that it was a thing that happened and never bothered. It was supposed to be a standalone. Yeah. But of course it was so popular and then we were caught into the edginess of comics that it became like DC was like, well, everyone had to try to ape it with, while utterly missing the point. Mm-hmm. And that's where we get to like now. Other than that, yeah, those DC animated ones don't miss. Yeah. So, I feel like we, this has been a content-rich episode. We have mm-hmm. had some... We, this is why I love being back in the studio. Just the energy. We came in here yeah. with nothing. We came in here with Not fucking, like, thing. <laughs> three sentences. And you guys have gotten an hour and a half of content out of us. We And I feel like it's quality content. Like, I don't yeah, even feel like it's disposable content. the true, real, raw content. us. But remember, you can follow us all collectively around the internet. CheesyControllerPodcast.com. Help us with our quest of world domination. Yep. Chris, you're already on board. You've been, you're in too deep. Join what? the power and the blessings of the cult of the hammer knife. Like, subscribe, the- and share. You know, all that. Uh-huh. Smash that like button. <laughs> Ring that notification bell. We're just all into the YouTube. Use two functions of your way. hammer knife to support the cause. Support us. Hit our cash app. I need. I'm. I'm at the point that I'm mad that I was once that had two hammer knives in my possession, but I currently you only. Been dual wielding. You, I did you dual cur- wield hammer knives at one point. Good. Good. But now I only have one hammer knife, and I need two to fix my Sheikah Slate keychain. See so what you need. Like is my a- keys are naked. I don't have a Sheikah Slate. You need a great hammer knife. This is the most... A tall one that's like this. You feel I me? do. Uh, How big would that knife be? Mm-hmm. That's big. not an answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's not an answer. 
<laughs> All right. Well, yeah. CheesyControllerPodcast.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Anton63XisChris. You can follow me at Chef and Chris. Jalen. Squid Bishop. Madrid. Speed wagon it. All right. This has been a No It's Good production. The audio version is edited by I Know Jones. The video version is edited by Lana Twist in Mind. And we're going to edit it. We streamed it live on YouTube. But we're actually going to get it edited and polished up for you guys. So it's going to, to be... put it back on YouTube. We might leave this up as like the live recording version, and you could just watch it twice. So and nice, we posted twice. Yeah. I we've hit some solid gold with episode titles that are like towards the end of this that I've tied to a few things. But until next time, keep it cheesy. We're back. We're back. We're back.